Hello, my name's Annie and I'm here making theory easy for you. I'm going to do a live lesson. It will be over, uh, streamed over a few different platforms. So however you are watching me, make sure you like, you follow, you subscribe and you get loads more help to pass your theory test. If you're struggling to pass your theory test, if you need to pass a theory test, if you're taking driving lessons, let me know. Uh, just put a comment in the in the comments box and let me know where you're up to with your with your theory and what kind of things that you are struggling with. Um, so I can help and create more and more lives and lessons, but there's loads more content in the, all the different platforms. So make sure you follow me, uh, subscribe to me, like me, um, and you get loads and loads more help. So let me tell you who I am. And while I'm doing that, you tell me who you are and where you're watching me from. So my name is Annie. I'm a, a, um, I'm a driving instructor. I'm an ADI. That means I'm an approved driving instructor. And I'm also an audit registered trainer. That means that I train people to become driving instructors. And I'm a theory test expert. So I became a theory test expert a few years ago when I realised just how many people were struggling to pass the theory test. Is that you? Have you struggled? Are you struggling? Do you need to know how to pass? That's what I'm doing here. I'm making theory easy for you. So what it did was I created theory test course. You can see the link to it in my description. I created theory test course and I was awarded um, the most innovative driving school for the course. My driving school is called Spot on Driving. And for that, I've been awarded superior achievement and excellence, which is fantastic. I'm really, really proud of those awards. And I'm also really proud and really pleased that the DVSA, the Driver and Vehicle Standards Agency, they've looked at my courses and they're really happy with the courses and with the help that I'm providing you guys. And uh, they are happy to provide me with all of the official DVSA practice questions. So all the official questions are in my courses. So you're guaranteed to have the most updated information. So I'm proud of my awards. I'm proud of that information as well with the DVSA, but I'm even more proud of comments that I've had from people who are taken or who have taken my course. This one on the screen says, Hi Annie, I signed up yesterday, started today, have done about 40% uh, in five hours um, and now getting 48 and 49 out of 50 in mock tests. Your videos are outstanding and your content is explained so well it's virtually impossible to not take it in. Thanks for making a great course and I hope to pass next Thursday. And this young man did pass next Thursday, sent me a screenshot of his pass certificate and got a 50 out of 50, 100% after taking my course. And that's what you can do. That's a help that I um, have, I'm able to give you with my course. Another one here said, I wanted to say a massive thank you. Um, I've got take sat my theory for the fifth time and I got 49 out of 50 on the questions, 63 out of 75 on the hazard perception. Isn't that awesome? Um, so I created the course because the official government figures are not good. There is just under 1.9 million tests taken, 879,000 passes. That means the pass rate is 47.1%. Are you in those figures? Are you, are you? Have you failed or have you passed? That means the um, the fail rate. Fifty three percent of people are failing. Let me know. Is that you? And what do you particularly struggle with? So what I did is I, create, I created a course. And it's got everything you need to pass your theory test. So it's got things like worksheets, like this one here. So a worksheet you can fill in if you want to while you're watching the video tutorials. There's about 90 video tutorials in the course. And then there's facts lists like this one. So a list of the facts that you need to know for every single topic. So for every topic, there's a worksheet. For every topic, there's video tutorials. For every topic, there's a facts list. For every topic, it has all of the official questions and a mock test for every topic. 
And then there's full mock tests, case studies, hazard perception techniques, anxiety techniques, games, loads more stuff so that you know when you've done the course, you will be 100% prepared to pass. It's got everything you need. It's had more than 5,000 passes so far, which is awesome. Anyway, let's go on with today's lesson. So what I'm going to be doing um, is I'm going to share three techniques from my course with you. First is the traffic light technique. I'll be using my set of traffic lights here. And then I'll be doing easy arm signals. And then my two-step question technique in for anybody that, um, that second guesses themselves, that doesn't trust they've got the right answer, that sometimes changes the right answer for the wrong answer. But my first technique is called the traffic light technique. Um, do you ever struggle to remember the colours of the motorway studs? Let me know. Put put a yes in the comments if you ever struggle to remember what the colours of the motorway studs are, because I am going to give you a really, really, really simple method for, so that you will get it right every single time from now on. So remember, guys, um, whatever platform you're on, make sure you like follow, subscribe. This is going out to um, streaming out to a, a variety of platforms. So um, and you can see the link to my course in the description. Anyway, traffic light technique. Let's get on with this first lesson, shall we? Um, this is to remember the colours of the motorway studs. But some people say to me, well, well, what are motorway studs? Guys, what are motorway studs? What's another for people that don't know the answer to this? What's another word? for motorway studs. What do you call them? What do your parents call them? Your family and friends call them? Do you know? Let's put some answers in the comments for me. So yeah, absolutely. So some people, a lot of people, in fact, call them cat's eyes. That's what I always call them, cat's eyes. But for the purpose of the theory test, we'll call them motorway studs from now on. And what they are is different coloured studs. Look at the picture here. Different coloured studs in between the lanes in the tarmac on a motorway. And they are there so you know what lane you're in. So let's just say you're driving in bad weather. You're driving in the dark. What happens is your car lights will shine onto the studs and you'll be able to see what colours are next to you. And you will just know what lane you're in. Does that make sense? So that's what motorway studs actually are. Let's, have, let's go through a question now. Um, so what colour are the motorway studs between lane one and the hard shoulder? So put some answers in the comments. Are they red, white, amber or green? Let me know what colour you think they are. If you don't know, don't worry about it. That's why I'm here. I'm going to, I'm here making theory easy for you. I'm going to help you to know them and remember them and understand them super, super easily. You will love this technique. And it's one of the techniques that's in my course. So what colour are the studs between lane one and the hard shoulder? Are they red, white, amber or green? Or put DK if you don't know. So lots and lots of different answers coming in. So let me go through my traffic light technique to help you know every single time. So you're not guessing, you absolutely 100% know um, what the colours are. So it's called a traffic light technique because there are red, amber, green and white studs that you need to know. First thing I want you to think about is it should be and it is going to be super easy. They're just four colours. You can learn four colours, can't you? Just give a nod and you sat there on your own. You can easily learn four different colours and where they are if somebody talk to you about it if somebody teaches you and that's what i'm here for i'm here to help you so let's answer some questions you need to join in this is an interactive lesson so it's really important that you join in and um, put some answers in the comments for me so first of all red what does it mean if the red traffic light shows now i know you know what it means but put some comments in so so you're answering me because this, this is going to help you to learn what does it mean if the red traffic light shows absolutely guys absolutely so red means stop and wait doesn't it red traffic light means stop and wait what does it mean if the green traffic light shows 
let me know what your thoughts are. What does it mean when the green traffic light shows? Brilliant. So green means go if it's safe. Go if it's clear. Go if it's safe. Go if you've got anywhere to go to. Always if it's safe anyway, isn't it? Now, this is one that people sometimes get mixed up with. What does it mean if the amber traffic light shows? Do you know what it means if amber light shows? Put your answers in the comments. Don't worry if you don't know. Put the letters D, K if you don't know. So I'm going to help you. What does it mean if the amber traffic light shows? So I'm going to give you a clue. Amber doesn't mean get ready to or prepare to. You can get ready, you can prepare, but that's not what it actually means. What amber actually means is stop and wait behind the line. So red means stop and wait, but so does amber. Does that make sense? Give me a thumbs up if that makes sense. Amber means stop and wait. Even though you can prepare to go, you can get ready to go, but it actually means stop and wait. Now, as I said before, you need to know which colours um, are in which lanes. That's what you need to know to answer theory test questions so that you're safe when you're driving on motorways. So let me tell you and explain to you about my traffic light technique, a technique that I've devised to help you learn super, super easily. So first question, where do you go if you're breaking down on a motorway and you need to stop the car? So you're driving on a motorway and the car's breaking down. Uh, where do you go? What's that extra lane on the left called where you can go if you're breaking down and you need to stop? So put your answers in for me. Okay, brilliant. So you go on to the hard shoulder. The hard shoulder is the extra lane on the left um, that you don't normally drive in. Um, and you go there if you're breaking down and you need to stop and wait for help. Red means stop and wait. You go on the hard shoulder if you need to stop and wait. So what colour studs do you think are next to the hard shoulder? See, it's easy, isn't it? Isn't this a really simple technique? Red means stop and wait. You go on the hard shoulder if you need to stop and wait because you've broken down. It's an emergency. So you're absolutely right. Red studs are next to the hard shoulder. Awesome. OK, so next one. You've now learned one of them. There's only four to learn and you now know one of them and you will never forget it. What's the lane called that you use to go on and to go off a motorway? Can you remember what it's called? It's an extra lane that is just there for going on to or going off a motorway. Brilliant. So that's called a slip road. OK, so you use a slip road to go on and to go off a motorway. Green means go. So what colour studs do you think are next to the slip roads? Can you see how easy it is? Can you see how simple this is? I'll recap later, so don't worry. If you're just joining me, I will recap these colours. Good. So green studs are next to the slip road. Green is go. You use a slip road to go on or go off. Let's do the next one. Does anybody know what the centre of a motorway is called? Put some comments in if you know what it's called, the middle bit of the motorway, the centre of the motorway, the bit that separates the traffic going in different directions. OK, so looking at this picture here, you've got three lanes of traffic going up the road. There aren't always three lanes on a motorway, by the way. There could be two lanes, three lanes, four lanes, but a lot of motorways, an awful lot of them have got three lanes. And you can see a red car in lane one uh, here, a blue car in lane two, and a yellow car in lane three, and they're going up the road. And then the middle bit here 
you've got a grass verge and you've got a metal barrier, a metal crash barrier. And that's the middle of the motorway. That's the centre of the motorway. And the centre of the motorway is called the central reservation. OK, does that make sense? The centre of the motorway, the central reservation. So looking at my back to my technique, you've got three colours here. The one at the top is red. The one at the bottom is green. The one in the centre is amber. So amber is in the centre. So what colour studs do you think are next to the centre of the motorway? I can see you've got it already. What colour studs are next to the centre of the motorway, which is called the central reservation? Fantastic. Yeah, so amber studs are next to the central reservation. Amber is the colour in the centre of my traffic lights. Brilliant. So the only other colour that you need to know are white and white studs are just between the lanes. So looking at the um, the yellow car here, the yellow car, I've, I've made them as lines so you can easily see them, but they're not lines, they're studs. So the yellow car has got white studs to one side of it, white studs to the other side of it. So, so, the, so the yellow car is in lane two. OK, that is in between the lanes. Does that make sense? And that's it. That's the four colours. Super, super easy. So let's go through some questions. And what you need to do is when you're answering these questions, just have a think. Don't rush to answer them. Just think about the techniques that I've taught you. I've talked to you about stopping. I've talked to you about the centre. And I've talked to you about going. And I've talked to you about between the lanes. Just those four different colours. So first question, we'll come back to these questions now. What colour are the motorway studs between lane one and the hard shoulder? Don't worry, you haven't seen my technique. I'll be recapping now. So the studs between lane one and the hard shoulder, what colour are they? So pop your answers in. Are they red, white, amber or green? And I know that loads of you are going to be getting it right now. I know you are because I've given you my technique. And the studs between lane one and the hard shoulder are red. And we know that because red means stop and wait. We go on the hard shoulder if we're breaking down and we need to stop and wait for help. So red studs are next to the hard shoulder. Next question. You're doing fantastically. What colour are the motorway studs on both sides of you if you're in lane two? Are they red, white, amber or green? So put your answers in the comments for me. On both sides of you if you're in lane two and you're absolutely right. The, the studs on both sides when you're in lane two are white. Look at the yellow car, white studs. Fab, it's super easy now, isn't it? Next question. What colour are the motorway studs between lane three and the central reservation? Remember, the central reservation is the centre of the motorway, isn't it? Are they red, white, amber or green? What colour are they? Put your answers in the comments. Fantastic. I can see loads of great answers coming in. So the amber studs, amber studs are between, are next to the central reservation. How do we know that? How do so many people know that? At the top here, my traffic light technique, you've got the top colour is red, the bottom colour is green, the colour in the centre of the traffic lights is, is amber. The centre of a motorway is called the central reservation. Amber studs are next to the central reservation. Super easy. OK, and last question. What colour are the motorway studs next to the slip roads? Are they red, white, amber or green? So what do we use slip roads for? Remember that. What do we use slip roads for? So put your answers in. Brilliant. OK, so the colours, the studs next to slip roads are green. How do we know that? You know how to know that now. Green means go. We use a slip road to go on and go off a motorway. So green studs are next to the slip road. 
and that is that's it that's my traffic light technique and now there's four colors to learn only four colors to learn but it can be tricky when we're just looking at questions and trying to memorize the answer that's not the way to learn and so i created this technique i spent hours creating this technique um, and it's actually super super easily once once it was created it's a really really simple really easy technique for you to learn and remember and understand the colors of the motorway studs and I've included that technique. Do you like it, by the way? Let me know. Do you like it? If you like my traffic light technique, just give me a thumbs up or say, yes, I like it because I think it's awesome. And that will help you answer questions in your theory test really easily. But just take your time when you're answering. I've included my traffic light technique in today's uh, live lesson because the pass rate is really low. And if you can get those one or two extra questions right, it will help you to pass your theory test, won't it? Like I said before, the official government figures are there's one point just under 1.9 million tests taken and just under 879,000 passes. That means there's a 47% pass rate. That means there's a 53 percent fail rate and that to me is way too high do you agree with me so let me know do you agree that 53 percent of people failing their theory test is way too high why do people fail just put a me in the comments or just nod your head if you think people fail or you have failed because lots of reasons isn't there because you have dyslexia because you don't know how to study. You don't understand what you're studying. You've got no time to study. You've got no motivation to study. English isn't your first language. You feel anxious. You find studying boring. There's so many pe reasons why people are failing their theory test. And then when you do fail, people say to me, it's embarrassing because I've got to tell my family I failed yet again. And it's frustrating because your driving instructor or your family or your friends have said, well, go all the way through that app. If you go all the way through it or go all the way through that book, then you will definitely pass. It's easy to pass. And you find it so frustrating when you keep failing, especially if you keep failing by one or two marks multiple times. That is really, really frustrating. And it's a waste of your time getting to the test centre, taking your test, getting back home again, such a waste of time, but it's definitely a waste of your money. Uh, £23 each time is such a waste of money. And then until you've passed your theory test, you can't even book your driving test. And so is this you? So many people are in the situation where they are ready, they're in a good, uh, they have a good standard of driving. So they're ready to book the driving test, but they can't book it because they can't pass the theory test. So what I want to do is I want to teach you to pass. I will teach you to pass. I'm doing, I've just given you my a most amazing technique, my traffic light technique. And now you know the colours of the motorway studs every single time, super, super easily. I created a theory test course to help you. I spent thousands of hours designing techniques to help you learn and remember easily. I have spent years finding out what you struggle with and hours creating techniques to help you to learn. And I put it all into this course. You can see the link to the course in my description. Um, the link is also written down here, testbuddy.app forward slash live. And what I've put into the course are things like there's worksheets and you can fill these in if you want to. Of course, you can fill these in while you're watching the video tutorials. So there are 14 theory test topics um, for every topic. There's a worksheet you can fill in if you want to. For every topic, there are a few video tutorials. For every topic, there's a list of the facts. And what I've done is I've created audio. So um, I've, I've read those facts out and I've recorded them so you can listen to the facts uh, and you can listen while you're going about your daily business. So while you're brushing your teeth, you're walking the dog, you're going to the gym, um, you have all kinds of times that you can listen to those facts, doing your housework, cooking. Um, so you can listen to the facts and when you listen, you learn without even trying to learn, don't you? Because that's how we learned to talk in the first place. We listened to somebody talking to us and we learned to talk. Um, you listen to the words of a song, 
and all of a sudden you know the words all of a sudden you're singing along to a song you haven't printed the words out and tried to memorize them you've just listened and heard and you learned without even trying to learn so all the official questions are all the official practice questions are in my course and then there's things like case studies there's techniques for anxiety there's techniques for hazard perception there's techniques for how to answer questions there are games because games make learning a bit of fun don't they and that's why if you go all the way through it you will be a hundred percent prepared to pass the link is here um, but also that you can see the link in my description. The course has helped over 5,000 people to pass so far and you're not going to pay what it's worth, which is 69.95. You're only going to pay 34.99. You only pay about, about the price of one single one hour driving lesson. That's all the course is. And what you're going to get, as well as my course, is you're going to get a free hazard perception course. It's worth $9.99 normally. You're going to get a free hypnosis course, normally worth $14.99. Um, hypnosis course has got three tracks to listen to, one for your theory test, uh, a track for driving test and a track for driving. So all those anxieties can be taken away for the, for the whole of your driving. You're going to get two free ebooks as well. Top 10 reasons for failure and top 20 hardest theory test questions. And that's, that's £35 worth of bonuses. You'll pay once, you don't pay again. So if you don't use it, um, uh, you, you decide not to take your theory test at the moment, you won't have to ever buy it again. It's a lifelong investment for you. So you can use it for as long as you need it. Most people take between two and six weeks to go all the way through it. But some people go through it in a few days. Um, some people go through it in a week. Um, but when you go through all the way through it, you will quickly see and hear how you will pass. You'll start right away, just like you've learned my traffic light technique. And now you know you can answer any question about the traffic light, about the colours of the motorway studs, don't you? Because there's four colours. I've been through a really, really simple technique so you can learn um, what those colours are. And you know, as soon as you start going into the course, using the course, you will really quickly see and hear how you'll pass. You really quickly start to feel much more confident about passing. This is what somebody said to me about using the course. He said, hi, Annie, I signed up yesterday, started today, have done five hours. It's a lot to do in a day i wouldn't normally recommend doing five hours in a day but it's up to you what you do um 40 of the course is done and i'm passing with 48 and 49 out of 50 already after just one day your videos are outstanding and your content is explained so well it's virtually impossible to not take it in thanks for making a great course and i hope to pass my theory next thursday now, the following Thursday, the same young man sent me this screenshot and it says I got 50 out of 50 in the multiple choice and 64 out of 75 in the hazard perception. So for the questions, somebody who was struggling went on after my course and got 100 percent. Isn't that awesome? Uh, so it's time to ask me any questions you want to ask me. Um, I have seen a couple of questions already popped up, so I may well just answer those questions. Uh, and then we'll go on to my next lesson, which is going to be called Easy Arm Signals. I think I'm, I'm going to do it next. Easy Arm Signals to help you learn the arm signals super, super, super easily. So um, I've seen a question saying, is it suitable? Is my course suitable for people with dyslexia? And yes, the answer to that is yes, it definitely is. There's an awful lot of people who have dyslexia who have gone through my course. But if you feel you need more help, then get in touch with me um, to arrange a one-to-one. -one. Um, not with me, it'd be with somebody called Chris. He does one-to-ones for you. Um, but yet my course has definitely been used by many, many people with dyslexia, by many people who don't speak English as a first language as well. Because remember, there are short videos that you can watch again and again and again. You can fill the worksheets in if you want to. You don't have to fill the worksheets in. Um, so, so you can go over it as many times as you want. Some people do the course and then start it again. It's entirely up to you what you do. Uh, so someone's asked me, what about using an, an app? 
let me show you the answer to this question. So an app will have these things um, and it's great for a lot of people. Um, but there's all the official questions, mock tests, case studies, and it has a perception. That's what an app will have. But if you're struggling, if you want to guarantee that you've got everything you need to pass, you need to learn first of all. You don't want to just do questions and, and try to memorise answers. So what I've got are all the same things as the app has, plus video tutorials, um, question techniques, how to answer any question, worksheets to fill in, fact lists and audio you can listen to, test anxiety techniques and games. All of these things are in my course. That's what makes it so great because you can learn before you answer questions. That's how we do it in school, in college, in university. Someone teaches us, first of all, before we, um, before we answer questions before we do mock tests and try and answer questions and it's only 69 it's only 34.99 you're not going to pay 69.95 which is what the whole course and all the bonuses are worth um, and this person said hi annie i want to say a massive thank you i sat my theory for the fifth time are you struggling to pass guys are you have you failed it sort of multiple times this person have failed it four times sat it on the fifth time and came out with 49 out of 50 on the questions um and it's all down to my course i'm so thankful for your course and the confidence it gave me and the results will definitely recommend to friends and family and it's well worth the purchase for results like that many thanks again if you want to see more about it like i say the, the link will be in my description and it's always written there for you so i've covered one lesson let me go on to my next lesson but first of all i will introduce myself but what i want to know in the comments i want you to keep telling me what questions do you struggle with the most in your theory test what questions do you struggle with what lessons do you want me to start creating to help you um, to pass your theory test so keep putting those comments in so my name is annie i am an adi that means i'm an I'm an approved driving instructor. I've been a grade A driving instructor for about 10 years. I'm also an audit instructor trainer, and that means I'm on the official register for driving instructor trainers. I've trained people to become driving instructors, basically. And I'm a theory test expert. And I became a theory test expert because so many people have been getting in touch with me for many years now, saying I failed my theory test once, twice, five times, 10 times, 15 times, more than 20 times some people. I'm really struggling. I don't know what to do next. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And do you agree, guys, there isn't much out there to help you to learn the facts about theory. You just expect it to memorise answers and that's not what I want for you. I became a theory test expert so I can teach you, I can help you to pass, I can help you to learn first of all. Um, and I created a course, uh, the link's in my description, the link's just written here for you. Um, I created a course and I was awarded the most uh, uh, the most innovative driving school. My driving school is called Spot On. I was awarded Superior Achievements and Excellence. And I've also had the, the DVSA, the Driver and Vehicle Standards Agency. So the people that create the theory test, they have looked at my courses and are happy with my courses and have given me all of the official DVSA practice questions. So you're guaranteed to have the most updated questions in this course. When the questions are updated, they will let me know and I'll update my course immediately. So let's get back to this lesson. I've already covered my traffic light technique. I'm now going to cover easy arm signals and then later on it will be my two-step question technique. So let's get on with easy arm signals. Do you ever struggle with arm signals, even though there's not very many to learn. Sometimes it's like, ah, I just can't get it into my head. Is that you? Let me know if it is. Let me know what the answer to this question is. What does this arm signal mean? The driver intends to turn right. The driver intends to turn left. The driver intends to slow down. The driver wants to keep you back. Let me know what you use A, B, C or D. Put your 
answer in, put DK for don't know. If you really got no idea, just let me know. You just no idea what the answer to this question is. See some different answers coming in. Some right, some not right, some DKs. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it super easy for you. It kind of is super easy, but often it's super easy if somebody teaches you and talks about it with you first. So let's go through this lesson. When you indicate, when you put your indicators on, left or right, your indicator lights will flash at the front and the back of the car, won't they? When you indicate left or right, your indicators come on. So tell people to tell other road users what you're going to do. Yeah, cool. When you press your brake pedal, your brake lights will shine up at the back of your car, won't they? So your people behind know that you're slowing down and they're not likely then to go into the back of you. They know you're slowing down, okay? So, you, so if for some reason, your brake lights or your indicators aren't working, you can't tell other road users what you intend to do. It doesn't happen very often, but it might happen that your indicators are broken, your brake, your brake lights are broken. You can't tell other people what you intend to do and that's not safe. Does that make sense? Brilliant. OK, so therefore, there are three arm signals that you need to know. One to turn right, one to turn left and one for slowing down. OK, so here are the three arm signals that you need to know. First one to turn right. All of the arm signals are going to involve you sticking your right arm out of the window because you can't put your left arm out of the window, can you? You can't put your left arm through your passenger and all the way out the other side of the car. So all the arm signals are going to be with your right arm. So to turn right, all you're going to do, do it with me. All you're going to do is put your right arm out of the window like that. Does that make sense? And it looks like this in an image. It looks like this. Okay, just put your right arm out of the window. That is the arm signal for turning right. That's one out of three you've learnt already. The arm signal to turn left is going to be putting your right arm out of the window and doing circles going forward. Circles going forward as if you're pointing over to the left side of the car. Do it with me. Do circles with your hands as if your arm is pointing over to the other side of the car. And this is what it looks like here. See the arrows going around in a circle and that is left. Does that make sense? So now you know right and you know left. So there's only one more to learn and that is slowing down. Slowing down is also super easy. Slowing down is up and down. Your arm will go right out of the window and it will go up and down. Slowing down is up and down. Super easy, isn't it? Yeah. Now, it's important to know and to realise that when you get asked the, a question about arm signals in your theory test, you'll be given four options because it's multiple choice. But one of the options will be complete and utter rubbish. One of the options won't mean anything. So let's go back to the question. What does this arm signal mean? The driver intends to turn right. The driver intends to turn left. The driver intends to slow down. The driver wants to keep you back. Now, one of those is a rubbish answer. Which one is it? Which one can we get rid of? Is it A, B, C or D? Which one of those is absolutely rubbish answer? Because getting rid of rubbish answers will really help you in your theory test. Fantastic. You're absolutely right. D is rubbish. D, the driver wants you to keep back is not an arm signal that I've just gone through with you, is it? OK, we've only gone through left, right and slowing down. So which one does this one tell you? 
What does this obstacle mean? It's going around in circles. Is it A, B or C? Put your answers in. And you're absolutely right. Loads of right answers coming in there. The driver intends to turn left. That is my easy arm signal. Did you get it right? Did you get that one right? Easy arm signals. Let's just recap. Right is easy. Put your right arm out of the window. Left is just circles as if you're pointing your hand towards the front of the car over to the left. You're pointing over to the left. And slowing down is up and down. Up and down, slowing down. Super easy, isn't it? That's only three arm signals. And now you can answer any question about arm signals. Now that I've made it super easy for you, now that I've taught you my technique, my lesson for memorising it, and I wanted you to learn that one because the pass rate is really low. 53% uh, of people are failing their theory test for all kinds of reasons. 53% of people are failing it. Uh, some people time and time and time again. And that's because I believe, do you agree with me? It's because you're not taught, you're expected to get an app uh, and memorise the answers. And that's not the way lots of us learn, is it? Um, that's not the way lots of us learn. So you're failing because you're not given that help that you need and you, you, you're struggling to revise, you're struggling to focus, struggling to take it in. Some people struggle to read. Some people don't speak English as a first language. Some people have dyslexia or other learning difficulties. All kinds of reasons why people are failing. Uh, and then it's embarrassing and frustrating when you keep on failing. It's a waste of time and it's definitely a waste of money, isn't it? Definitely a waste of money to keep on failing. And not being able to book your driving test is so frustrating, isn't it? Really, really frustrating. Because you can't book your driving test, of course, until you've passed your theory test. And that is really frustrating. So what I'm doing here is I'm teaching you to pass your theory test. And I've created theory test course so I can teach you to pass your theory test. If you now know your arm signals super easily, you know what kind of content is in this course to help you learn really, really easily. You can see the link to the course in my, in my description. Remember, guys, um, this live is being streamed out to a few different channels. Um, so whatever platform you're on, make sure you like, make sure you follow, make sure you subscribe and go to my description description if you want to see the link to my course to have a look at it. Let me tell you what's in it. So in Theory Test course, um, there are 14 different topics. All the topics are in there. There's 14 different Theory Test topics. For every topic, there's a worksheet you can fill in if you want to. For every topic, there are video tutorials to teach you, like my easy arm signals one. For every topic, there's a fact list that you can read or you can listen to. Uh, for every topic, I've got all the official practice questions and, and a topic quiz. And then there's other sections on case studies and a section on games anxiety techniques, how to get rid of your anxiety, which is great if you feel anxious about the test. You know the, you've done your revision, you've done your preparation, but you feel anxious. I've got techniques in the course to get rid of that anxiety. Um, what else is in the course? So there's techniques for doing how to answer questions, techniques for how to um, do hazard perception clips. So when you get all the way through the course, you are 100% prepared to pass. It has helped over 5,000 people to pass so far. And you're not going to pay the full price. The full price is $69.95. You're only going to pay the price of one single one hour driving lesson. So you're only going to pay $34.99 for the whole course, which you'll have for life and all of the bonuses as well. And the bonuses are a free hazard perception course, a free hypnosis course, um, a two free ebooks, top 10 reasons for failing your driving test and how to avoid them, and top 20 hardest theory test questions. You're going to get those two ebooks as well. That means you're going to get £35 worth of bonuses. 
So I've been asked uh, how many times do I pay? Is it a monthly subscription? No, it's one payment only. You've got the course for the rest of your life. You've got the course for as long as you want to use it. Your course for you to use for as long as you want to use it. Um, but most people will use it for um, between two and six weeks. Um, but some people don't even start it for two or six weeks. So you've got it for as long as you want to use it. And as soon as you do start it, you'll need to um, you'll get an email. Um, go into the email, um, click on the link. You'll be taken to the Test Buddy website. Make sure you log in, um, click on my courses and lives and your commitment to helping as many people pass as possible. Definitely, definitely could not have done it without you. I felt so prepared going to my test this morning that my usual pre-test anxiety was practically non-existent. Uh, thank you so much for all that you do. Isn't that awesome? I'm here to help you. My name is Annie and I'm making theory easy for you. Um, I'm giving you today, I'm giving you three techniques to help you to pass your theory test. I've given you um, two already, but I've got a brilliant one to come. Um, it's called my two-step question technique, which you can use to answer any single question. So I've been asked, what is my anxiety um, techniques all about? So a few um a few years ago, I realised, let me know, is this you? I realised that so many people were failing, not because they didn't know the answers, but because they felt really anxious and they didn't trust themselves and they felt too panicky and they weren't reading the questions correctly, they weren't reading the answers correctly. Um, they just felt really, is this you? Feel really, really anxious. Do you suffer with anxiety? So what I did is um, I became an NLP Master Practitioner. I spent months and thousands of pounds um, becoming a, a confidence coach and a hypnotherapist. You can see my two, two of my certificates at the top, just up there. Um, so what I did is I created techniques, um, these ones here, and I put them into my course. And you can use these techniques. And the brilliant thing is, when you use these techniques, you won't feel anxious when you go to your test. Use these techniques in a few days leading up to te your test. Your anxiety will go and you will feel confident about going for your theory test. But not only that, um, I'm a master practitioner of hypnosis and I have created a hypnosis course and you get that absolutely free. So that means you're not going to pay $69.95. You're only going to pay $34.99 for my course and all the free content as well. Um, do you, are you ones that feel anxious? Let me know. Do you feel anxious? Do you second guess yourself? Do you ever put down the right answer and then change it to the wrong answer because you feel anxious. You feel, well, I must have got it wrong. I keep on failing, so I'm obviously getting them wrong. I'll change that right answer to the wrong answer. Um, and all because you feel anxious. Just put yes in the comments if this is you. Let me tell you who I am. I'm going to help you with that right now. My final technique, I'm going to help you. So my name is Annie. Keep letting me know what questions you struggle with. I want to know. Um, I can go through all the comments later and see what do you struggle with and what lessons do I need to create to help you so I can make theory easy for you. I'm an ADI. Um, so so I'll tell you who I am. Um, that means I'm an approved driving instructor. I've been a grade A driving instructor for about 10 years. I'm also an audit instructor trainer, which means that I train people to become driving instructors and I'm on the official register for driving instructor trainers. Um, and I'm also a theory test expert. That's what I'm doing right here, right now for you. I'm a theory test expert and I did that. I've done this because so many people struggle to pass the theory test. So many people get in touch with me and say, I've failed it once, I've failed it two or three times, I keep failing it with one mark, is this you? I keep failing it with only one or two marks, I'm so close. But the problem is what a lot of people do is they prepare by using an app, they fail by one mark and they go and prepare by using an app and they fail by one mark and they go and prepare by using an app. They're doing the same thing, often will get the same results. So I'm giving you a different option. What I've done is I've created a course to give you a different option so I can help to teach you before you look at questions and give you 
ways and techniques of remembering stuff forever. Um, and you can see the link to my course in my description. You can also see it written down here for you. So for this course, I was awarded Most Innovative Driving School, which I'm really, really proud of, of course. For my driving school, I've been awarded Superior Achievement and Excellence. Again, I'm really, really proud of that award. I'm really, really incredibly happy that the Driver and Vehicle Standards Agency have looked at my course and they're, uh, they're happy with it and they've given me all the official DVSA practice questions. So I'm really, really happy about that. Um, I'm really proud about that as well. So let's come back to the, the that lesson. Today, I've al already covered traffic light technique to help you to remember the colours of the motorway studs super easily. I've already covered easy arm signals, so you can remember those three arm signals super easily. You won't forget them anymore, will you? And now I'm going to go on to my two-step question technique. And this is a technique to help you answer any question super easily. I've, like I say, I've called it my two-step question technique. In my course, it's a five-step technique, but I'm going to show two of the steps that you're going to find really, really simple. So the question I'm going to use to uh, demonstrate this technique is, where should you avoid overtaking? So where should you avoid overtaking? Just after a bend, in a one-way street, on a 30 miles per hour road, approaching a dip in the road. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm not going to answer the question just yet. The first thing is get rid of two rubbish answers. When, you could, when you're doing your theory test, there are often two answers that are complete and utter rubbish. Get rid of them. So I'm going to get rid of in a one way street on a 30 mile per hour road. The question is, where should you avoid overtaking? I'm going to get rid of those two because you can overtake in a one way street and you can overtake on a 30 mile per hour road if it's safe, of course. So when we get rid of those two answers, we've only got two options left just after a bend and approaching a dip in the road. So all of a sudden, that question appears so much easier, doesn't it? All of a sudden, you've only got to think, is the answer A or D? Is it A or D? You don't have to think it's A, B, C or D. And then you've got to end up putting a really, really rubbish answer down. You've only got to think, uh, is it two, you've only got two options left. Is it A or is it D? The next thing to do that might help you is to think about the words safest option. It may well help with a lot of questions to think about what is the safest thing or what is definitely not safe to do. So you need to remember it's OK to overtake after a sharp bend. Look at the blue car. The blue car is approaching a sharp bend. You can't overtake while you're approaching a bend. But this white arrow is showing you after a bend. And it would be OK to overtake after a bend. Does that make sense? But I can't, you can't see what's in a dip in the road. So a dip in the road means when you're driving along and the road goes down and the road goes up again and then it goes flat again. And this dip here, you can't see what's in that dip. There could be all kinds of things. You don't want to be taking your car onto the other side of the road when you've got a dip in the road coming up. Therefore, you've got rid of the, um, you're thinking about the safest option and the, the unsafe thing to do is approaching a dip in the road. So that is the correct answer. Do you get that? Do you get that technique? Let me know. It's my two-step question technique. We're going to repeat it with another question now. So stay with me. Do you like the technique? Let me know. Just put some yeses in the comments if you really like this two-step question technique that I'm sharing with you. So... You're planning to tow a caravan. What will help the handling of the combination? You've got four possible options. Anti-lock brakes, power steering, 
breakaway cable or stabiliser. So first of all, I want you to know, do you understand the question? Do you understand what will help the handling of the combination? Lots of times people don't even understand the question, you see. So if you don't understand, don't worry, I'll explain it to you now. So the combination is the car and the caravan joined or combined together. That's what it means by the combination. And sometimes the caravan can start to sway like this. It's called snaking. If the caravan is snaking, that's not good. That's what they mean by the handling of the combination. If that's happening, it's not handling very well. Does that make sense? So I'll come back to the question. You're planning to tow a caravan. What will help the handling of the combination? You now know what that means. Is it anti-lock brakes, power steering, breakaway cable or stabiliser? So remember, the first step to this technique is to get rid of two rubbish answers. Two rubbish answers. Which one of those four are absolute and utter rubbish? Let's get rid of them. Now, I have got rid of anti-lock brakes and power steering. Do you agree? Do you agree that anti-lock brakes won't stop that from happening? Power steering won't stop that from happening. OK, does that make sense? So we're going to get rid of those as rubbish answers and we're not going to look at them again. So now you've got two options. You've got a 50-50 chance of getting the answer right now, haven't you? Because you've taken away two of the rubbish ones. So the next thing, remember, is we're going to think about the words safest option. Let me tell you about the other two words. Let me tell you about breakaway cable and stabiliser. I'll explain what they actually are when we're talking about the words safest option. So a breakaway cable looks like this. One part of it is fitted to the car and the other part of it, the other end of it, is fitted to the caravan's brakes. OK, a breakaway cable fits to the brakes. And what it's there for, if the car and the caravan accidentally break away from each other, the cable will snap. It will put the caravan's brakes on and the caravan won't keep on rolling away. If the caravan keeps on rolling away, it could cause a lot of injury, a lot of um, damage, couldn't it? So a breakaway cable is in case they break away from each other and the brakes on the caravan will come on. Does that make sense? Easy, isn't it, when you know? Give me a Y for yes or a yes in the comments if that makes sense to you. Let's move on to the next one. A stabiliser looks like this, this metal bar here. A stabiliser keeps the car and the caravan stable. A stabiliser is a metal bar that goes here and it keeps them stable. It will stop the caravan swaying about. Just like stabilisers keep a bike and a child stable, a break, um, a stabiliser keeps a car and a caravan stable. Does that make sense? So metal bar there and you've got a metal bar here keeping the bike and the child stable. So therefore, what will help the handling of the combination is going to be a stabiliser. A stabiliser will help them help the car and the caravan to be more stable. Does that make sense? Super easy now, isn't it? Now that you know what those two words are, now you can go through my two-step question technique. Let's go through one more. Let's do this one together. You're approaching traffic lights that have been green for some time. You should. Let's get rid of two rubbish answers. Remember, the first thing to do is get rid of two rubbish answers. Even if the question's really easy, in your actual test, you need to take your time to answer every question. 
So two rubbish answers. Which one of those, which two of those are rubbish? Put your answers in. I've got accelerate hard. Be ready to stop. Maintain your speed. Break hard. So we've got four possible options. Two of them are absolute rubbish. Which ones should we get rid of? Put your answer is A and B, B and C, C and D, A and D. Which ones are rubbish? Fab. So I got rid of accelerate hard and break hard. I said those two are absolute rubbish answers. That's not what you would do as you're approaching traffic lights that have been green for some time. That's not what you would do. So get rid of those. We won't look at them again. We'll pretend they don't even exist. And now we've got a 50-50 chance of getting the answer right. Does that make sense? So the next thing we need to do is think about the words safest option. What's the safest thing to do? Or what's the unsafe thing that we wouldn't do? So the question was, you're approaching traffic lights that have been green for some time. You should be ready to stop or maintain your speed. Which is the safest thing that you can do as you're driving towards traffic lights that are green? What are the traffic lights going to do? You know they're going to change. At some point, they're going to change to red, aren't they? So what's the safest thing to do? Is it be ready to stop or is it to maintain your speed? And the answer there, guys, is be ready to stop. The safest thing you can do is be ready to stop. We should always be ready to stop, shouldn't we, in case we need to. And that is my two-step question technique uh, to help you to answer any theory test question. Go through the technique um, get rid of two rubbish answers and you may have um, a, you may be able to think about the words safest option um, for an awful lot of the questions. At today's live, I have covered my traffic light technique to help you learn the colours of the motorway stunts. Have you seen that one? Let me know. I've covered easy arm signals because there's three we need to learn. I've made it super easy. I've broken it down for you. And I've shared my two-step question technique. And these are three, three uh, lessons that are part of my theory test course. You can see the link in my description. You can see the, the, the website here. Um, theory test course, it's got everything you need. It's got about 90 tutorials in it, but I've shared three awesome ones uh, with you today. So it's falling over. And I've shared that because there's such a high fail rate. 53% of people are failing their theory tests for all kinds of reasons. The failing, why do you think people are failing the theory test? Let me know. Or, or put, put on me if this is you. Um, so I fail because I don't know how to study. I fail because I have no motivation to study. I fail because I can't read very well. I find it really hard. I fail because I can't revise because it's just too boring. I fail because um, I have dyslexia and I find it really tricky. Oh, I can't read. Have I done that one already? I fail because um, English is not my first language. I fail because I have anxiety. Put some me's in there if that answers any of your, um, if, that, if that responds to you and how you feel and why you think you have failed. But there are all kinds of reasons. And failing then is embarrassing because you've got to tell people again and again and again that you've failed it. And other people are passing it. You can't understand why you're failing it. It's so frustrating when you feel like you've done everything you should do. A waste of time. It's a waste of money. And you can't actually go out and book your driving test, can you, if you keep on failing. So I want to teach you to pass. I have done it today in this live. I've taught you three of my techniques. There are about 90 uh, videos in my course and I've shared three of them with you today. This is the course, Theory Test Course. It's been created to help you to pass your theory test because so many people feel they're just on their own and they don't know what else to do. They've been through the books, they've been through an app, they don't know what other option there is. So this is the option that I have created for you. I've, they've put in worksheets 
So for every topic, there's a worksheet that you can fill in if you want to. For every topic, there are video tutorials. For every topic, there's a facts list you can read or you can listen to if you want to. For every topic, all of the official practice questions are in there. And for every topic, there's a topic quiz of 10 questions. When you've passed when you've answered all of the questions correctly, you've got 10 out of 10 in your topic quiz. Move on to the next topic. When you've done all 14 topics, you'll find things like case studies to practice. You'll find techniques to answering questions, techniques for doing hazard perception clips, your techniques to getting rid of your anxiety and feeling confident. And you'll find games. It's got everything you need. It's got everything you need. And that's why you will be 100% prepared to pass when you go all the way through your course. That's why it's had more than 5,000 passes so far. And you're not going to pay the full price what it's worth. You're only going to pay the price of one single one hour driving lesson. It's about £35. How, what, how much are your driving lessons? Let me know how much your driving lessons are. Because I, I know that most of them are between 30 and 40 pounds. And that's why I've based this course, uh, I've priced this course um, at the price of one single one hour driving lesson. So if you're struggling I, I, and you're taking driving lessons, I know that I put it at a good price for you. And you're going to get bonuses. You're going to get a free hazard perception course. You're going to get a free hypnosis course. You're going to get two free eBooks, top 10 reasons for failing your driving test and how to avoid them, and top 20 hardest theory test questions. That means you're going to get 35 pounds worth of bonuses. And I've been asked, um, is it a subscription? <coughs> Excuse me. No, it's not a subscription. You pay once for the course. You only pay once. Even if you don't use it for six months, you won't have to pay it for it again. If you don't use it for six years, you don't have to pay for it again. It's your course for you to use for as long as you want to use it. Uh, most people take about between two and six weeks to go all the way through it. But some people uh, buy it the day before the test. You know, I have helped you. Um, I've helped you know the colours of the motorway studs already. I've helped you know the three arm signals super easily. I've helped you with a two step question technique, which will help with loads of questions if you use that technique. So you could go through some of the course and it will definitely help you. But you need to go through all of it if you need to, if you know you've got everything. It's entirely up to you. Um, you will quickly see and hear how you're going to pass. You will quickly start to become really, really confident about passing. Um, this person says, um, hi, Annie. I just finished my second attempt at the theory test and I passed with 49 out of 50. That's the results that you could be getting if you go through this course. Thanks to you and your course and your lives and commitment to helping as many people pass as possible. Uh, definitely could not have done it without you. I felt so prepared going to my test this morning that my usual pre-test anxiety was practically non-existent. Thank you so much for all that you do, Ames. That's how I want you to feel. I want you to feel uh, thoroughly prepared. I want you to understand the question, understand the answers, know which what answers are absolute rubbish. And that's what I do with this course. I teach you before you look at questions. Here's another one that I got recently. Hi, Annie. I passed my theory first time today. I got all the questions right. That means this Joe got 50 out of 50. Isn't that amazing? Um, and a good mark on the hazard clips. I wanted to thank you. I'm 50 years old and never thought to be able to I'd be able to do it. But with your course and lives, you made it easy to understand. And remember, I couldn't have done it without all of that. So I want others to know they can do it too. Thank you so much. Now to book my driving test. Isn't that awesome? And loads of other comments I've got. I've had every single day comments from people who have passed using this course. You know I can teach you. It's what I want to do. I want to make theory easy for you and teach you to pass. You can see the... Um, the link to uh, my course in my description. So go there to have a look at the link for it. Um, and let me know if you've got any questions. Keep putting questions in. Let me know what you actually struggle with. And a question that came up earlier is, um, is 
is all about mock tests. Yeah, I do have full mock tests in the course. I well, there's a, there's a mock test not only for the topic. It's not only for the topics. There's a 10 question mock test for all of the 14 topics. And I've picked and chosen the questions that people really struggle with so that you know that you're going to be fully prepared to move on to the next topic. But there are 16 specially created mock tests. Now, you may find that in an app that you've got, there are hundreds of mock tests of randomly chosen questions. That's not what I've done. I've specially created 16 mock tests. And within those 16 mock tests, every single official practice question is in there. And the hardest questions are in a few of the mock tests. So you know, if you've done all 16 mock tests, you are guaranteed to have covered every single um question and somebody else asked me how do I know I'm test ready do all those mock tests make sure you pass them all with a high mark not just scraping through with 43 make sure you're getting 47 48 49 50 and then make sure you pass five mock tests one after the other consecutively um, and that means uh, if you're not, not sure what I mean that means pass a test 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 no fails in there with scores of 47 and higher preferably 49 50 out of 50 for all of those tests then you know you are test ready and that's the situation you'll be in when you go through my course and you won't pay 69.95 you will only pay the price of one single one hour driving lesson and you will feel thoroughly prepared this person uh, said i signed up yesterday started today have done five hours it's a lot to do in a day isn't it i don't recommend you do five hours in a day unless you can unless you can continue to focus unless your theory test is very very soon 40% of the course is done and I'm passing with 48 and 49 out of 50, which is great. Still lots of the course left to do and it's getting 48 and 49. Your videos are outstanding. Your content is explained so very well. It's virtually impossible to not take it in. Thanks for making a great course and I hope to pass my theory next Thursday. Now, this same person contacted me the following Thursday and sent this um, this picture to me and this picture says uh, passed with 50 out of 50 on the multiple choice and 64 out of 75 on the hazard perception which is an absolutely awesome score. If you want results like that then go to the link in my description or screenshot now and type in that link and you can go and have a look at what my course has to offer you. So thanks for watching me. I hope you've enjoyed this live. I've covered three techniques with you. If you've enjoyed it, please let me know. Whatever um, platform you're on, please make sure you like, make sure you follow, make sure you subscribe and look out for more and more live lessons to come. Uh, so thanks for joining me. Um, it's been amazing. And thanks for joining in and commenting. And I will hope to see you again soon. My name is Annie from Theory Test Practice and I am making theory easy for you.